Super Summer. Cool superheroes all this week with CBBC. We are at a top secret location in the heart of London as our search continues for the next great superhero. Over the coming weeks, a group of wannabe heroes will face a series of superhero style missions. Do you need any help there, madam? And tackle their arch enemy, Dr. Dark. All to prove they have what it takes to become the world's next great superhero. And claim comic book immortality. Today, Dr. Dark strikes again, leaving the superheroes to face their fears. Plus, they face the press for the first time. Where are you from originally? What's your real name? We hear you were the bravest superhero. And one more superhero will be powered down. We have reached our decision. And leave the lair for good. The superhero who will return home is... This is Who Wants To Be A Superhero? Last time, the superheroes were given their first crime-fighting mission. Danny Harbour, a.k.a. Tracy Beaker, has become the victim of a terrible crime. They search for clues to help a VIP damsel in distress. I really don't know what's missing, but I know things have kind of moved around. Do you have anything under the bed at all? No, nothing under the bed. And there's a crowbar! Looks like the window's been snapped open. And they came face to face with the prime suspects. By the law, state your name. He was walking out with the box. He was definitely walking out with the box. I definitely saw him. I'm ashamed of you guys. But three superheroes were called forward to face the power down. The pushy way you interrogated the suspects in the lineup was not the behaviour of a true superhero. You even went as far to say that you were ashamed of the suspects. You seem to lose sight of the main purpose of this mission. And one more superhero left the lair for good. The superhero that will power down is... Mega Might Man. It's a new day in the secret lair, and H2O Man, Santh, and Deflector are already talking about what their next mission might be. It could have something to do with water. It could water have... snakes. Could have something to do with lizards. No, or they could be water snakes. They, they've done face. No. We've done face. Eels. We've done face and affairs. Yeah. Because people walked across the plank. Yeah. We did the detective work. The detective work. Um, uh, sacrifice. Sacrifice, yeah, we've just sacrificed. Oh, thank you so much. So bravery could be something like, are you, what, what are you scared of? Me? Yeah. Tiny spiders. Tiny spiders? Yeah. yeah I, like, I like the big ones. So, let's remind ourselves exactly what the superheroes are battling it out for. The person who proves to be the next great superhero will star in their very own comic book. <laughs> and, and it's going to be created by Stan Lee. <laughs> which means that the person left standing at the end will be flown out to Hollywood. <laughs> You're going to meet Stan, and then you'll receive your comic book. So, with comic book immortality at stake, the pressure is really on. Mark, I've just 
just had some disturbing news that the evil supervillain Dr. Dark has been spotted on the streets of London. Sam, we need to go and investigate. <laughs> Whenever the alarm goes off, the superheroes must report to the control room immediately. Superheroes, I've just received this disturbing CCTV footage of a shadowy figure that resembles Dr. Dark, causing chaos in a nearby pet shop. Pet shop? Pet shop? Pet shop? What? Oh my gosh! Yeah, that looks like a... Podcast, what's in that bag? Oh, I've got an idea. Look, look, it says exotic creatures and snakes. Looks like the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. Stolen a pet? There's no time to waste. Your assistance is required immediately. The location details are on your screen now. Report to Sam and Mark when you get there, and good luck. Superheroes, listen up. The notorious supervillain, Dr. Dark, has raided this pet shop and taken some of the animals. Now, why you would do such a thing, we don't know. But superheroes, it gets worse because the pet shop owner in there is tied up and he's desperately in need of your help. Superheroes, do you think you can save the day? Yes! Okay, first of all, I think it's worth you all taking a quick look through the window just to assess the situation. Oh, 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 o
Kong, I'm coming. At 13, Steel Soldier is the oldest of our superheroes. I'm coming. Keep calm. Please keep calm. Coming. Keep calm. This is quite hard because he's put his foot over a bar and then there's loads of snakes on the floor so he can't put his foot down. He's in trouble here, actually. Just keep calm. If you can breathe. I'm coming. Slightly tentative still, soldier. Try and keep as calm as possible. I'm gonna try and step over this if I can. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm coming. It's a big massive snake by his leg. Coming, everything's gonna be okay. Are you alright? Let's try and get you out of this. He's through. He made it. Steel Soldier completes the mission in three minutes and eleven seconds. Oh, thank you. It's okay. Are you all right? Yes. Are you sure? I didn't have to say the code word, Auntie. You know. And I got to the man in time, and I asked him if he was okay, and I, you know, because safety is number one, you know, in these sorts of mishaps. Santh is the next superhero to try and rescue the pet shop owner. I feel really confident about today's mission because I really like snakes. This should be a walk in the park for Santh if you like snakes so much. I'll tell you a good thing about Santh. Always got a smile on face. Yes, he yes, does, doesn't he? Always. Always. A little bit nervous now, which is surprising. He went in there smiling and. Well, that was it, yeah. Well, when I was outside the shop first, I thought, oh, that would be easy. But then when I actually went in, I saw snakes right by the door, and there was this massive one, and I was really worried because I thought he was going to lash out. Auntie. He's used the code word auntie to end the mission. I was really frightened, so I said auntie, because I didn't think I'd be able to get through without hurting one of the snakes or by hurting myself. If you went in there, you would freak out as well, because mm, it's so intense, and the guy shouting, help, 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 with his gag on. I, was, I felt really bad because I couldn't help the guy. Gold Starlet, the youngest of all the superheroes, is next. Taking a time. Gold Starlet is beginning to look really nervous. Oh gosh. She's going for it though. And she's through. I was feeling that I was about to cry because there were so many like snakes around you and you always think the worst. You think they're gonna get me, they're gonna get me, they're gonna bite me. Hi. Next thing to the pet shop is Deflector. I need you to stay calm, okay? Breathe. Followed by Princess Paul. and Flying Feather. And all three of them successfully completed the mission and rescued the pet shop owner. Thank you so much. Next door in the cafe, Pink Puffle Girl's nerves are starting to kick in. I'm not surprised, she's admitted that snakes are her biggest fear. How much time do you want to but do? What if I step in one? If you step in one, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. The snake, I'm scared of Back at the pet shop, it's Hitch to all man's turn. This challenge for me is definitely going to require the most bravery for me at the moment. Hello, just stay calm. Hello. 
No messing about with Hedge Door Man is in there like a lightning. Okay, it took Hitch to owe just 25 seconds to complete his mission. Wow, that was quick. You saved me. But remember, this mission is not just about speed. We're looking to see who remains calm under pressure and who can conquer their fears. It wasn't just my heart that started beating, my brain started pumping and everything. Just thought around all the bad things that could happen, everything. But then I just saw the man, I looked back up and saw the man. And then I just thought, stay calm, I'll see panic. SGW is the next superhero to attempt the mission, and while he tackles the snakes, Pink Puffle Girl realises it's nearly time to face her biggest fear. Well, pretend the snakes are roses and you walk into a path of roses. Mine. Just dodge them and you'll be fine. Think, if you fail, you won't be able to have that potential to be the ultimate superhero. I mean, Stan Lee. Come on, Stanley, have a comic about you. Be in Hollywood. It's Dolphin Girl up next. I'm really, really confident in what I'm going to be doing. So I don't actually think that I'll have any troubles or have to say the code word. Righty-ho. Oh. Oh, Can you move, please? I want to get over. Oh, you're a big one. I'm coming! Mm. Just waiting for this chat to move along. Move it! It looks like Dolphin mm. Girl has found a unique way to get past the snakes. She's going around them instead of through them. Good thinking. Hello, slimy. Uh, mm. Mm, let's get you out of this mess. Mm. Excellently done. It's now the turn of Pink Puffle Girl. She can't put the mission off any longer. Well, I'm really scared because I'm absolutely petrified of snakes and this is probably one of the hardest challenges I have to do. struggling a little bit. She's probably the most nervous out of everyone. <laughs> Clearly upset and unable to carry on, Pink Puffle Girl leaves the pet shop. How are you feeling? Feeling really scared, but I wa really want to go back in and try it again. Okay. You sure? You yeah. sure? Are you positive? Yeah. Don't need okay. to do that. Remember the code words, Auntie. So if you want to get out, just shout that. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Good luck. Off you go. Unable to continue after a second attempt, Pink Puffle Girl decides she can't go on. My heart was beating really fast and, and I had butterflies in my stomach and all I, always, I was thinking is that I can't do this. The snakes were hissing and poking their tongues out and everything and that's what scared me the most. I'm feeling quite upset with myself and disappointed because I didn't, I didn't um, save the man inside. The final superhero to enter the pet shop is Nine Lives. Known for his agility, how will he get past these slippery customers? Big snake. 
big snake right next to him, like slither him. One of the snakes is wanting to say hello. Nine lives is bent right down, and there's a snake right in his face. That was a close call for Nine Lives, but thankfully he managed to live up to his name and keep his Nine Lives intact. Oh, thank you. Now, rescuing the pet shop owner was only part of this mission. Remember, we were looking to see how the superheroes coped when faced with their fears. So, how did our superheroes compare? Santh was the only superhero to use the code word auntie to abort the mission. Auntie. Pink Puffle Girl tried to face her fears not once, but twice. Sadly though, on this occasion, she was unable to overcome her fear of snakes. The rest of the superheroes all rescued the pet shop owner. Oh, thank you. You're, You're welcome. Oh, you saved me, thank you so much. Superheroes, thank you so much for all you've done for me. There isn't too much damage, but it appears he's taken all of my pets. But, as a reward for what you've done, I want to give you a pound each. Hold on a minute! One of the rules of being a true superhero is that you never accept payment for your services. Surely they'll never accept a reward. Thank you so much, I'm so grateful. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. One for you. Thank you. One for you. Thank you very much. No, you. No. No. Keep it, keep it. Are you sure? At last, Steel Soldier, Princess Poor and SGW are declining the money. You more? Okay. No, no, you Oh, okay, thank you. Well, thank you very much. And now the rest of the superheroes are following their lead. Now I have to go and tell the authorities all about it, okay? See you later, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I've still got my one pound. Oh, you... Oh, dear. Dolphin Girl kept a pound. Uh-oh, it looks like the press have been tipped off about the superhero's good work at the pet shop. They'll be answering your questions later, OK? We'll issue a formal statement then. All right? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on, guys. Let's go back to the lair. Let's go back to the lair. Come on. Come on, guys. Keep going. Go. Coming up... The superheroes face their next mission. Are you looking forward to fame and fortune? What do you do when you're not a superhero? What's your real name? Can I get a photo, please? But who will remember they're a superhero, not a superstar? You're clearly a true superhero. Are you looking forward to fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? Yeah. Are you? Most definitely. <laughs> and find out who failed to impress in the power down. Your apparent desire for fame and fortune has once again made us question your motives for being a superhero. Snakes on a plane, that was an eventful morning. Gotta say, that was our superhero's toughest mission to date. And it was interesting to see how they dealt with such a situation. Yes, because remember, we are analysing our superhero's every move to see which one of them truly possesses the qualities of a great superhero. And how they deal with the situation is often more important than the end result, Mark Rhodes. That is right, Sam Nixon. Anyway, I don't see what the big problem is. It's only a bunch of snakes, big wowzers. I'm not scared. <laughs> hey, hey, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> saying that. Go on. <laughs> Never gets her off doing Go on. <laughs> he went to the pet shop. <laughs> and got one of the snakes. <laughs> is it, is it? <laughs> snakey, snakey. <laughs> is it, is it? With the superheroes safely back in the secret lair, they discuss their encounter with the snakes. No, oh, it's really cute. The snakes. I say, I hate hello, it. slimy. Hello, I hate sticky. It. I hated it. What did you think, Pink Puffle? I hated it. Hated it. Really? You're joking. Yes. It was because I said auntie. 
Sam, who's in a thoughtful mood, is putting his thoughts down on paper. Um, I've been writing my diary for the last week and stuff. And um, today I wrote about what we did today, which was the snakes and stuff. I think it is important because superheroes need to remember what they've done and they need to like find out their weaknesses through what they've done. True believers, I hope you've recovered from your slithering ordeal earlier. It seems the press have picked up on events at the pet shop earlier and are keen to ask you a few questions about it. I knew it wouldn't be long before you started making the headlines. Sam and Mark have more details about the press conference. Go and meet them in the control room. Now, as Stan mentioned, the press have shown great interest in what happened at the pet shop today. So, we've organised for you to have your very first press conference to give you the opportunity to see what happened. Now, there's a group of journalists and photographers right through there in the operations room waiting to speak to you. OK, now you'll go in one by one. Any questions? For this mission, the superheroes will face five journalists and three photographers all of whom are determined to get that big scoop or perfect picture. If our superheroes reveal details such as where they're from, their real name or their hobbies, it could all be used to expose their secret identities. OK, Deflector, you're up first. The rest of you, if you go back upstairs to the lair, we'll see you in a bit, OK? Yay! Come on, Deflector! Deflector, you ready for your press conference? Yeah. OK, off you go, mate. It's just through there. So, who will provide the ultimate scoop? Who will steal the headlines and will it be for the right reasons? While the superheroes face the press, we'll be watching their every move from the control room. Hi, um, talk us through what happened at the pet shop. There was this um, robber called Dr Dark, who apparently for some reason stole some of the pets. We hear you were the bravest superhero. I wouldn't quite say I was the bravest superhero because then I didn't actually see all the superheroes at work. Good, I'm sorry. Now you're clearly a true superhero. Are you looking forward to fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? I wouldn't want a fortune to be honest because I, I don't like to be selfish. And what do your friends think about you being a superhero? My friends don't actually know because otherwise I'd be giving away my secret identity. Great. Where are you from originally? I'm originally... I can't say that, I'm afraid. Uh, what is your real name? I can't say that. Hey, excellent. Can we get a photo, please? Can we get a photo, please? Yeah! Thank you. Just hold that there. A true superhero will not pose for the cameras, but that's still that an impressive easy. start. He kept his superhero cards pretty close to his chest there. Samth is next, so let's see if he can make up for his performance in the previous mission, where he failed to rescue the pet shop owner. Can you tell us, we hear you were the bravest superhero, is that true? No, it isn't. Can we get a photo, please? Cool. Yeah, give us some nice superhero poses, yeah? Just a superhero pose, squad. Oh, that's what we like. Uh, you're clearly a true superhero. Are you looking forward to uh, fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? No. No? Because superheroes don't need fame and fortune. What's the best thing about being a superhero? Um, Helping people. Where are you from originally? Can't tell you that. What's your real name? Can't tell you that. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Not a bad performance from Samth. He kept them guessing, although he seemed to like having his picture taken. The next three superheroes to face the press are H2O Man, Gold Starlet, and Flying Feather. What's your real name? I don't really want to give away my secret identity. What's your real name? I don't really want to give away my secret identity. 
No comment. And where are you from originally? Uh, no comment. No comment. No comment. H2O Man is being very guarded with his answers. What's the best thing about being a superhero? No comment. Come on, surely you can answer that question. So what do you get up to when you're not a superhero? That's for me to know and you to find out. Well, they all managed to keep their real identity secret, but will they remain modest in front of the cameras? We hear you were the bravest superhero. Um, that's not true. We don't have any bravest superheroes. Everybody was brave. Are you looking forward to uh, fame and fortune now that everybody knows who you are? I don't think that superheroes should do anything for just for the money and the fame and stuff. I think that they do it because they want to. Um, no, not at all. It's not about the fame and fortune. I just want to do good deeds. Sorry, no pictures. Thank you. What's the best thing about being a superhero? Can you jump up and give us your superhero pose, please? Uh, no, thank you. Um, no, thank you. I don't really want any publicity. Excellent. Can you jump up and show us your superhero pose, please? We can get a photo. <laughs> That's fantastic. Big smile. Just hold it It looks like Gold Starlet is enjoying being a starlet. Now it's Dolphin Girl's turn to face the press. Hi there. Can you um, talk us through what happened at the pet shop today? Dr. To Duck, he managed to take away all the pets, but I did manage to save the pet shop owner. We hear you were the bravest superhero, is that right? Yes. Nothing shy about Dolphin Girl there. And how did you uh, deal with the snakes? I dealt with them very well, just minded out and I just got across with them, no problem. Excellent. Can you jump up and give us your superhero pose, please? We can take a photo. Yeah, that's nice. That's Gangster. brilliant. Oh, brilliant, fantastic. brilliant. Just hold that, hold that. That's fantastic. Now, you're clearly a true superhero. Are you looking forward to uh, fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? Yeah. Are you? Most yeah. definitely. And what do your friends think about you being a superhero? They think it's great. Her uh, friends aren't supposed to know she's a superhero. Where are you from originally? I was from Newcastle. A true superhero would never reveal where they live. What's your real name? Beth. And they certainly wouldn't reveal their secret identity name. OK, great. Thank you very much, Beth. Dolphin Girl, how do you think that went? OK. Yeah, really? Answered all the questions? Yep. Happy with it? Yep. Good, Ian. Alright then, uh, go back up to the lair and I'll speak to you yeah. shortly. Up in the lair, the superheroes who have faced the press are talking about how they think they've done. I was really scared about... Did you see um, where you were from? Yeah. Did you? Did you oh, say where you were from? Steel Soldier is next to face the press. Will he do any better? What's the best thing about becoming a superhero? The best thing, if anything, would be helping people in need. You're clearly a true superhero. Uh, you're looking forward to fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are. I don't really want about fame and fortune being a superhero because my personal goal in being a superhero is to like help people in need. Oh. So what do you get up to when you're not being a superhero? Well. That's actually classified information, I'm sorry I can't answer that. Told you, what's your real name? Um, I'm sorry I can't remember that, it's classified information. Well, um, are you looking forward to fame and fortune? I you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! You're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be so in trouble. I'm gonna, gonna be, you're gonna be, but I think you actually might be one of the three for the power down. I think you will. I think you will. Next into the operations room are SGW and Princess Paw. We hear that you were the bravest superhero, that's right, isn't it? No, I was not the bravest and I'm not going to say who was because, to be honest with you, I think everyone was brave today. No, we all worked as a team. But you were pretty brave though, yeah? I think everyone was brave. Are you looking forward to fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? Um, that doesn't matter to me, the only thing that matters is helping everyone. I don't care about the money, I don't care about the fame or fortune. I just care about saving people and making them happy. So what's the best thing about being a superhero? The best thing to me about being a superhero is helping everyone and making sure the community is safe. 
And what's your real name? I'm not allowed to say that. And what's your real name? Can't hear that. SGW and Princess Poor have done pretty well. Do you mind standing up and giving us your superhero pose, please? Oh, oh brilliant. Yeah. But they do love those cameras, don't they? They're not the only ones. I swear, um, that some people are cracking under the pressure of the press. She did. Yeah, I actually think loads of people are going to fall for it. Are you? No, I didn't. With just nine lives and Pink Puffle Girl left to go, how will they cope when faced with the press? Are you looking forward to uh, fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? Um, well, I'm not really interested in fame and fortune. I just want to help everybody that needs help in. What's the, uh, what's the best thing about being a superhero? It's fun because you save people. Well, they seem to be off to a solid start. You're clearly a true superhero. Are you looking forward to a fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't ruin it, Nine Lives. And where were you from originally? I'm originally from London, but I moved to Hartlepool when I was 18 months. Right. What's your real name, Nine Lives? Jake. Um, I'm from Bristol. What's your real name? April. Like Dolphin Girl, Nine Lives and Pink Puffle Girl have also revealed their secret identities. Surely things can't get any worse. Five, six, seven, eight, nine lives, yeah. nine lives, right. nine lives, five, six, seven, eight, nine lives. They call me that because I'm a cat which has a five, six, seven, eight, nine lives, nine lives, nine lives, five, six, seven, eight, nine lives. They call me that because I'm a cat. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. fantastic. Thank you. Still having photos taken. <laughs> well, they loved you in there, didn't they, Max? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think that went? Um, hi. Yeah, good. Answered all the questions. Yeah. Good cool. little dance. Yeah. Brilliant. Cool. Right, mate, off you go back to the lane. We'll speak to you shortly, OK? Coming up, there are tears in the lair. I fell for every single question. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to get kicked out of this competition. You're not going to get kicked out. And one more superhero will leave the lair for good. We have reached our decision. The superhero who will power down and return home is... I'll tell you what our superheroes need. A bit of advice from a couple of people who are used to the fame and limelight, you know. Yeah, I think you're right, Mark. All they need is a few words of wisdom about the everyday pressures of being a celebrity in demand. Hey, and who better to help than CBBC's favourite duo? Got Dick and Dom's number. I'll give him a call. In the lair, the superheroes are discussing their first interview with the press. What, you said April? Yeah. Oh my god. During the press conference, Pink Puffle Girl, Nine Lives and Dolphin Girl all revealed their secret identities. They asked, what's your real name? And I, did, I just knew I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's such a stupid question. What is your real name? Question. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to get kicked out of this competition. You're not going to get kicked out. Today, Dolphin Girl got a little bit upset because she said to everyone she thinks she revealed her name, where she lived, and just basically everything she said. I feel for every question, nearly. Yeah, oh, I did feel for every single question. And I posed every single post. Now, as you know, we are on the search for the world's next great superhero, but 
That title can only be claimed by one of our 11 superheroes who are currently residing in the lair above us. Yes, each week we have the extremely tough job of choosing one of our superheroes to power down, change back into their secret identity and return home. And following another eventful day of missions, we have got some tough decisions on our hands. We certainly have. Okay, so the mission today... It was Quite scary. It was really scary, and there was a few people there that... Were With their missions complete for the day, the superheroes are left to wait for the power down. Fly feather, I can speak dolphin. Cool. Do you want to show me? Yeah. I understand what you're saying. You're not looking forward to the power down, because you think you're going to get rubbed to death. Don't worry, you won't. I don't want to go. I, I know all that I'm going to be up, because I did do very well. Oh, you've got, be, you've got to be positive. And that's not very positive, really, is it? I think everybody's really proud that you actually went in there and you have a big fear of snakes. So you shouldn't feel worried. Trust me, you really shouldn't. Just think Pink Puffer might be up or not. I heard from somebody that, um, as soon as she got in the room, she said auntie. Yeah, that's what I heard. Sant said auntie, I think. Um, I'm really worried about myself because I said the code word. And I'm really annoyed for doing that. So I think I've got a chance of going up. This will be your first time, wouldn't it? Mm. If, yeah. you, if you were picked, this would yeah. be both of yours first time. Yeah. Believe me, trust me, it's terrifying. Yeah. Like the whole world is closing in on you and you feel scared. Yeah. Really, really tough this yeah. week. Are you sure that's a three? That's a three. It's time for the power down. Superheroes, once again, you've had some fairly tough challenges thrown your way. And once again, we are going to have to say goodbye to one of you. Please, can you go to the resolution room and wait for Sam and Mark? It's time for one of you to power down. It has to be me! Now the time has come again for us to select one superhero to power down, transform back into their secret identity and return home. But before we give you our feedback, he's superhero godfather Stanley with a few words for you. Superheroes, I think you now know what Dr. Dark is capable of. I'm sorry that you had to come face to face with those snakes like that. But actually, it was very interesting to see the effect that situation had on each of you. And I'm also sorry that you had to come face to face with those journalists as well. Although on the surface, they might not be as scary as snakes, they can be equally as slippery. I have to admit, that those journalists gave you a hard time, but sadly, that's something every superhero needs to get used to. I will now hand over to Sam and Mark. Thank you, Stan. Superheroes, it's been a tough day for you, but also quite a revealing one. Dolphin Girl. H2O Man. Steel Soldier. SGW. Deflector. Gold Starlet. Flying Feather. And Nine Lives. Well done on rescuing the pet shop owner. It must have been quite an ordeal in being tied up like that. But like true superheroes, you came to the rescue and saved the day. So well done. 
and a special congratulations to H2O Man. You rescued the pet shop owner in a super quick time of 25 seconds. Pink Puffle Girl. You clearly had difficulties with this mission. I can't do this. <laughs> However, you tried to face your fears and attempted to rescue the pet shop owner not once, but twice. I'm feeling really scared, but I want, really want to go back in and try it again. Sadly, on this occasion, you didn't overcome your fear of snakes. But that does not stop you from being a good superhero. Everyone has a weakness. Look at Superman and Kryptonite. And then, of course, you were all offered a reward for your efforts. As a reward for what you've done, I want to give you a pound each. Oh, wow. Steel Soldier. Princess Paul. And SGW. You were the first superheroes to refuse this reward. Oh, keep it, keep it. Are you sure? I really want to show my appreciation. No, you? Are you sure? It's your money. When all the other superheroes seemed happy to take the money. A true superhero never accepts payment for his or her services. Dolphin Girl. We were surprised that you decided to keep the money. Even after all the other superheroes decided to give the money back. The press conference that followed was also extremely revealing. We can now tell you that each of you disclosed at least one piece of information to the press that you shouldn't have. Details such as where you're from, your real name and your hobbies could all be used to reveal your secret identity. Flying Feather. Dolphin Girl. Gold Starlet. Nine Lives. Pink Puffle Girl. Steel Soldier. Princess Paul and SGW. You all told the journalists where your hometown is. Dolphin Girl. Nine Lives. And Pink Puffle Girl. What is even more worrying is that you revealed your real names to the journalists. What's your real name, Nine Lives? Jake. What's your real name? Beth. What's your real name? April. The number one rule of being a superhero is that you never give up your secret identity. Don't you think it'd have taken a lot more than a pushy journalist for Spider-Man or Superman to reveal their secret identity? In the wrong hands, this type of information could prove disastrous. Deflector. Santh. Dolphin Girl. Gold Starlet. Nine Lives. Pink Puffle Girl. Steel Soldier. Princess Paul. And SGW. You all seem to enjoy posing for the photographers. However, a true superhero never shows off or lets fame go to their heads. You clearly lost sight of this today. Let's not forget, you're superheroes, not superstars. We will now ask three superheroes to step forward and face today's power down.
Nine lives, please step forward. Dolphin girl, please step forward. Pink puffle girl, please step forward. Nine lives. You have certainly shown bravery and courage in all the missions you've completed so far. However, you agreed with the journalists about being the bravest superhero and seemed happy to lap up all the glory. Five, six, seven, eight, nine lives, yeah. nine lives, nine lives. Nine lives. You also revealed several key pieces of information about your secret identity. I'm originally from London, but I moved to Hartlepool when I was 18 months. Dolphin Girl. I think it's fair to say that you're one of the most confident and determined superheroes in the lair. However, out of all the superheroes, you gave away the most information regarding your secret identity. Where are you from originally? I was from Newcastle. What's your real name? Beth. You were also the only superhero who kept the reward. This, along with your apparent desire for fame and fortune. Now you're clearly a true superhero. Are you looking forward to fame and fortune now that everyone knows who you are? Yeah. I am. Most definitely. As once again, made us question your motives for being a superhero. Pink Puffle Girl. First of all, we'd like to commend you on the courage you displayed today when you faced those snakes. You did really well, well done. However, unfortunately, you revealed several key points during the press conference. Um, I'm from Bristol. What's your real name? April. Nine lives. Please, could you tell us why you think you should remain in the lair? I should remain in the lair because I will give you 110% in every challenge and in everything we do. And also, behaviors make one or two mistakes. Dolphin Girl, please will you tell us why you should remain in the lair? I think I should remain in the lair because I am. I should be the ultimate superhero because I'm very strong and encourage him towards other superheroes. Also, that I do act like a dolphin and went a bit crazy in the head when, at the press conference because I couldn't think properly as they were shouting all the things at me. OK, thank you. Thanks a lot. Pink Puffle Girl, please could you tell us why you think you should remain in the lair? I should remain in the lair because I know I've made mistakes by revealing my identity, but um, I promise you that I will never do it again. We will now leave the room and make our final decision. We have reached our decision. The superhero who will power down and return home is... Dolphin Girl. Dolphin Girl, you've made a real splash in the lair, but now the time has come for you to leave. Dolphin Girl, could you please stand in position and prepare to power down? <laughs> Beth, and we can now call you Beth, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the lair, but now it's time for you to return home.
Superheroes, I suggest you all head back to the lair as tomorrow promises to be another eventful day. Off you go. Well done. Being in the bottom three and the last power down was very scary. I was feeling sad because I thought I'd done good in the last mission, but I uh, will. I thought wrong. I was feeling really scared and I had butterflies in my stomach because I'm having such a really good time and I, I don't want to leave now. The moment when Dolphin Girl left the lair was quite emotional for quite a few of us. The group's not going to be the same because she had that certain energeticness about her. She was really kind and caring and um, she always looked out for people and stuff. I've really enjoyed being a superhero but it's a shame that I had to come to an end very quickly. I would say the best bit is changing in public and having to do the race. It was just so funny. I'm really, really going to miss this place. Guys, she's raining. Ha ha. Who I'm going to miss the most is Sam. She's like my best mate. And Deflector because they're like best friends and we just get on really, really well. I will continue with my superhero ways and I think it will be great to show everybody what it's like to be a superhero. <laughs>